So what's the first, what's the number one fastest way for you to learn? That's activity. Doing it. Just go out there and do it. You're going to learn faster by just doing anything than you are by study, you are by mentoring, you are by, by uh, following somebody else's example, you are by reading a book or anything else. Okay? Number one is just taking the action. You want to get better at something? Just start doing it. And that's the fastest way I know to get better. Now, some of you are nervous about that. I get it. Um, it's a little scary to just go out there and start doing something when you don't have a lot of skill. So that's why this week I want to give you the second fastest way for you to learn, for you to grow, for you to get better. And that is coaching. Getting a coach, getting someone who's gone before you and has already experienced what you want to achieve and then learn from them. Pull information out of them. Watch them by example. Listen to what they have to say. This idea that if you're humble enough, and some of you aren't, some of you are, if you're humble enough to just put your ego aside and learn from somebody else, you're going to do great. Now, this started off early for me. I mean, of course, I was coached and mentored by my parents. Um, but when I got involved in network marketing, the coaches and mentors appeared in my life. When the student's ready, the, 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 the coach appears sometimes, right? Or when the, yeah, when the student's ready, I was ready. I was looking for opportunity. I was looking to get better. So I started looking around for mentors, somebody who had already had the experience that I was looking for and the results that I was looking for in my network marketing business. And I started to earn my way into their little orbit. And sometimes what's great about network marketing is we have people invested above us in the structure, many times invested in our success. They want to see us succeed. So sometimes those mentors can be found in your line, in your line of sponsorship. Sometimes they aren't. So before you say, hey, yeah, but my upline's you know, worthless. My biggest mentors were never my upline. My biggest mentors were other people inside of my company that had achieved what I wanted to achieve. One of the first I had, his name was Michael Nelson. He lived in my town. He was cross-lined from me. And I was a sponge. I listened to every word he said. I wrote it all down. I put it into practice. I came back, asked clarifying questions, wrote it down, put it into practice, and had this little loop of learning by this coach. Okay? Then I started to, and, and some of the coaches, I got to tell you one thing what, about a mentor, about coaches. Many times the best mentors in your life you'll never meet. You'll never meet them one time. Maybe they're the number one distributor in your company. Maybe they're one of the top people in your company. And you don't have an opportunity to meet them face to face. But you can still learn from them. You can still watch what they do. You can still listen to what they say. You can still take, note, take notes in their training. They might not move into your house and go to work with you, but... They give you tremendous value from their example. Many of my greatest mentors I never met in my life. And in, in my mind, we were friends, but they didn't know my name. Okay? So it started with network marketing, and then it, it went into personal development. So it started for me with Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn was my number one personal development mentor. I started listening to him by audio cassette back in the day, okay? Audio programs over and over and over in my car and, and while I'm mowing the lawn or whatever, I, what I was doing when I was working out, I was listening and listening and listening and listening. It was, and he became a friend to me. Long before we finally met, we met like six years later and we became real friends. But before that, he was a virtual mentor to me. He had gone before and he developed himself and he talked about how he had changed his life and I found that I could use what he was saying to, in order to be able to change my life. So I got these audio programs. And then I started to invest in myself when it came to finding coaches, finding mentors. Some of them were virtual by going to training seminars, by listening to audio programs, video programs. Today you can have online programs. Those types of things can coach you and mentor you so you can save time. You don't have to go through the school of hard knocks. If somebody's already gone before you, and have done what you want to achieve, just go learn from them, okay? So virtually, and then also physically. You can start to engage in more coaching endeavors, 
And what I mean by that is you can find a coach that will help you with your, your mental game. You can find a coach that will teach you how to become a better presenter. You'll find a coach that'll teach you how to become a better leader. You'll find a coach that'll teach you how to get past your limiting beliefs. There's coaches in the world that will help you do that. I, I started, uh, gosh, um, almost 30 years ago with coaches. And most of them were virtual coaches because I couldn't afford real coaches, okay? They were either coaches and mentors inside of the network marketing structure that would, were nice enough to be able to share some ideas with me, or they were virtual coaches through audio programs mostly back then. Today, you have a lot more options when it comes to accessibility, when it comes to learning and getting coaching from super wise people. Um, that's where it started for me, virtual and within the network marketing, but then it expanded. I started to seek out coaches that would help me with the weak spots in my, my skills. It would help me become a better communicator, help me learn. Why do you think I started Network Marketing Pro? Or how do you think I did it? I reached out to some coaches to be, give me some guidance. What's the best way that I could have the most positive influence on the network marketing community with my efforts? And I still have coaches to this day. You know, my wife, Marina, and I, we spend a tremendous amount every year on mentors and coaches in order to be able to get better. So it's okay. It's, it's, it's all right to ask for help. You don't have to go through the school of hard knocks. We only, all of us have a certain amount of time on this earth. What we want to do is shrink the learning time where, wherever we can. If there's somebody who could show you how to get one year ahead, of everybody else in network marketing, go get that information. Somebody can teach you, save you three years of pain on learning how to be a great presenter, then save those three years. That's worth some money to be able to save those three years. Become po more powerful, more influential, better promoter, whatever it happens to be. And you can do the same thing. You can get coaching on being a better parent. You can get coaching on being a better spouse. You can get coaching on getting past the negative beliefs in your own mind. You can get coaching on all kinds of different things. It's okay to do it. It's all right to do it. Don't be ashamed to ask for help and also don't be ashamed to pay for it. It's okay to pay for it, okay? Um, this is what I've done. It's been one of the secrets to my success and most of the powerful people that I know from billionaires on down, they have the same philosophy. If there's someone who can help them shorten their learning curve and they can access that information, whether it's free or whether it's, whether it's through a few dollars, they take that bargain. They take that opportunity and they leverage it, okay? So you do the same thing, okay? A lot of the stuff we talk about here, you can access through networkmarketingpro.com for free. Go ahead and do it if that's where you're at. But if there's something that you wanna do, go ahead and explore. Find somebody who can help you go where you wanna go and leverage their experience to be able to grow and learn faster. All right, that's our show. Hope you got value from it. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. Because it is a stone cold fact, we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have an amazing day. Have a spectacular week, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye. Hey, my name is Eric Worre, and if you're involved in the network marketing profession, I wanna invite you to come to the Network Marketing Pro YouTube channel. Every week, we put out content on how you can become a network marketing professional. We have tips, ideas, strategies, interviews with million dollar earners in the profession, interviews with global icons like Tony Robbins or Sir Richard Branson, lots of different things that we provide there absolutely free. Do yourself a favor, click on the link, subscribe to the YouTube channel, tell your friends to do the same, and I can't wait to see you there.